Was I musically talented? I don't think so. I don't think I'm talented. Or I personally believe there is no talent needed because this is not Kirtan and music are two different worlds. When you look into the sound, we are seekers, six, learning from Guru how to have a leverage in life. So when you are learning, and sound is a component, a tool, a core module, then as a seeker I have to apply. I have to, to learn. When Guru Sahib says, Rag Asa Mahala Pella, what does Asa mean? How can I use it? Then how do I reflect it? How do I then compose my life and install it into that? So, it was not about music talent. It was more about seeking from Guru, learning, listening to Guru, Suniye listening to the Guru so that I can express my life in the feet of the Guru Gaviye, the expression. I believe that the, the health I have is given to me by the sound of my Guru's court, this Bani of my Guru, the wisdom from my Guru, became the wisdom of life for me. So it was not about talent. It was about doing what is needed. What as a Sikh I'm supposed to do without Kirtan, what am I? Any Sikh, you mute the Kirtan from a Sikh's life, what's left? To even, to be able to listen to the Kirtan, you need to learn. As a seeker, you need to understand what is the difference between Maj and Jajavanti. Notes are the same. Sur are same in Tilang Kafi. So you need to tune your listening to differentiate. How do you differentiate in Asa Kafi? And Suhi Kafi, the Lung Kafi, how do you differentiate between Maj and Jajavanti or Gauri and Peru? So I had to learn this. But I didn't learn as a musical student, I learned as a Sikh. Because it is a core module by Guru Nanak Sahib, the sound is. The Guruji is using a programming to, to rejig the psyche of mankind, humanity, through the rags. So it is important for one who want to walk on that path, for them to understand what it means and how do you get to that point and how then you can use that. So I won't say I was musically talented. Um, I had to learn things. I still don't believe I'm musically talented but I am using this as my Guru's Prasad, Guru's blessing. Whatever Guru wanted, whatever Guru needed, and he put things together. And as a missionary, being part of it, I did it. So um, I'm grateful for this opportunity Guru Maharaj has given it to, to me. But there is no talent, there is, there is, there is no, nothing special. There are amazing people out there, singers, with a lot of experience. And I went to them also. It's not that I wanted to do it my, by myself, no. I actually thought I need other singers to do this. But they were just singers. And I was looking, uh, I was looking for more than just music. I wanted to feel the Shabbat. I wanted to taste it, touch it. And because it wasn't happening, the people will say to me, 
we are not singing in any rag is the same thing isn't it it's just being in the in the sore and being in a tal that's what it means no then why guru sahib will say rag gauri then gauri chitti then gauri paragan then gauri gwareri gauri mala why guru will change that then why will he bring south indian traditions why will he go into folklore so why why satguru ji will do all of those things if it meant nothing so i was looking at from that side and then i saw hey on one side you think you don't need a talent on other side you're looking for talented people that's contradictory so i decided to jump into it by myself and i think uh, it was blessing 